So today we're at Cotswold Airport and we're with our partner Zero Avia to demonstrate the ground infrastructure for refueling of hydrogen aircraft. So we're looking at what the infrastructure will look like and how that will fit into daily operations, which includes the handling, the equipment itself, and also how we would actually store the hydrogen and, and how we would operate the aircraft itself. So with this demonstration, we're trying to prove the same concept of operations with hydrogen as we have with current uh, uh, Jet A uh, in a traditional airport. What does this mean? It means we'll be moving hydrogen from the ground side uh, via pipeline to the air side and then moving the hydrogen into an aircraft through a mobile refueler. This is a unique uh, demonstration that's proving out the ability to move hydrogen from the ground side to the air side using a pipeline. This is the first time it's been demonstrated in the UK and indeed doing this at high pressure uh, within an airport environment I believe it's the first time it's been demonstrated in the EU. So this has been a fantastic project to show that the infrastructure we're developing at this scale, we expect can be scaled to any other commercial airport. This demonstration has come about as part of the UK government's commitment to the 10-point plan for a green industrial revolution. And this is to invest in research and development that looks into infrastructure upgrades at UK airports, which helps the UK um, to transition into uh, hydrogen and battery electric aircraft. This is the reason why the Department for Transport has funded the Connected Places Catapult's Zero Emission Flight Infrastructure Project. The funding from the Zephyr project has really helped us accelerate our infrastructure work. The biggest questions that we get from airlines is where is the fuel going to come from for your propulsion systems? And by accelerating that through the Zephyr program, we really got a lot further, a lot closer to actual commercial infrastructure for hydrogen. So with this unique demonstration that allows us to move hydrogen from the ground side to the air side, we've had to overcome a number of challenges. The main one has been for a small company to upskill itself and its suppliers to deliver on time and on budget, uh, and we've been very successful in doing so. Another challenge has been to ensure we have the right engineering processes uh, in order to manage a complex uh, and safety critical um, system. And again, that's been something that we've, we've been able to demonstrate to the same standards as any other process engineering problem. In order to build this pipeline, moving hydrogen from the ground side to the air side, we've had to go through a number of approval processes, primarily for safety, but also uh, from a operation and process engineering perspective. The first approval set has been to do with uh, the airport and getting approval from the airport in order to move high pressure gas uh, from the ground side to the air side. The second has been around process safety and engineering and those are approvals associated with our original equipment manufacturers to ensure that we fulfill the correct protocols. And then finally, uh, we've had to seek approval and um, consultation with the fire brigade and the insurance companies. So with the demonstration we've seen here today with Zero Avia, we can start to show airports what they can do with refueling trucks on the airport and with pipelines for uh, fueling hydrogen aircraft. We've been talking to them about their timescales for entry into service, and this will be something that goes into the roadmap deliverable as part of the Zero Emission Flight Infrastructure Project. We believe that hydrogen is really the only scalable option for zero emission aviation. And that has to do with the cost implication compared to alternatives like sustainable aviation fuels. But we also think it's actually the more environmentally friendly option compared to sustainable aviation fuels, because you have no carbon in the fuel, so there is no CO2 involved in the process at all and you have very low temperature water vapor, which is proven to be a much less climate inducing um, gas than all the emissions that you have from combusting sustainable aviation fuel. Later this year, we're gonna start the flight test program of our 10 to 20 seat propulsion system. That will lead to a product that we will actually start selling to airlines by 2024. And that means ultimately you as passengers can fly zero emission by 2024 as well.